Hello viewers, welcome to DigiBytes uh, this week. I have uh, Vaibhav Gupta this week. Uh, he Hello. is, uh, hi Vaibhav. Uh, hi. He's, our, uh, he's a data analytics specialist. He's working in the data analytics space from the last 10 years. And um, he's worked on many technologies and tools like Altrix, Tableau, Cisco, Spotfire, et cetera. Um, not taking much time, let me ask Vaibhav to introduce himself. Vaibhav, why don't you introduce yourself to our viewers? Yeah. Thank you, Raghav, for such a short and crisp introduction for me. Maybe I can take it from there. So it's been like eight years uh, since I'm working in the corporate environment and uh, I have been like uh, working with many Fortune 500 companies. But uh, I, I would say like uh, the bestest thing about these companies is they have a lot of data and uh, that just attracts me. So um, like, uh, it just generates a passion that you have so much data and you have to uh, like generate a lot of insights and you can bring out a lot of new things out of it. So maybe a, a data from a train sensor, you can identify, okay, okay, yeah, this product will work till this time. Or maybe when this situation will arrive, you will be able to uh, figure out that this issue may arise. So it's a plenty of opportunity when we see the data and uh, I really enjoy it. So. From past eight years, I am into the data analytics side and uh, working with so many colleagues who are too passionate. So I worked on the tools like uh, Tableau, Spotfire, Altrix, and many more. So it's about like uh, going into the data and bringing out the insights which can be useful for your management, for your company, and uh, making a quick decisions. So. Apart from that, like I also do some event startups and I've helped many startups to uh, get their data, customer data and turn it into the insights. And uh, apart from that, I'm, in my current organization, I am an innovation uh, head for one of the initiatives uh, for my country, India. So I, I'm just enjoying uh, getting interacted with so many people and learning new things. Yep, that's about me. Wow, that's a great introduction. Um, I think uh, people will be really interested to know that how you explore data and gain insights from it. And that is what I think, uh, even what we want to do this session with you specifically, and we are actually focused on, um, you know, what, like we discussed, we want to discuss on a tool called Altrex because it's, it's coming up very much and uh, we have got great experience to it. So we have, before coming into this session, we captured some few questions from our viewers and from our um, people whom we know and some people who are, want to learn Altrix and stuff. Like what, the first question, what we got, uh, is like, probably I'm jumping into the interview if that is okay with you. It's like, sure. what is Altrix? The first question was, what is Altrix? People want to know what is really Altrix. So Raga, uh, like uh, I would go in a different way to explain oh. this. So have you seen that uh, like uh, working with companies, you have a lot of Excel files with a lot of data sets. And similarly, some people have different databases, some have data warehouse. Uh, when, when we see all these different data sets, so we, we see a opportunity to find out some new inside out of it. If I see uh, employee data, okay, so how many employees did this company have? Or uh, how many times an uh, employee you know, joined this company? So there is a possibility that the uh, same employee has joined multiple times. So it, it's kind of uh, a different data si insights that you can get from. But uh, at the same time, when I talk about these different data sets, there, there is a, a opportunity to ma maintain the quality of the data. So maybe your name is written uh, wrongly, or uh, maybe uh, some information is missing, like man while manually entering those data, maybe from application or while like copying from it other location or while writing it to the database. So some technical glitches happen always, and that may reduce the quality of the data. Sometimes some uh, special characters get added and you are not able to identify how to rectify all those things. So to actually work on that data, you need some kind of tool which can improve the quality. And this is where Altrix come into picture. It helps you to debug all the bad quality data into a quality one, and which can be consumed by different applications or tools, or maybe the programs that created by different users or the programmers uh, for the their uh, exploration of that data. 
so mm-hmm. all tricks is, is a quality so do you think other than data quality based thing so let's say we want to change the data structure from set a to different data structures is it possible in altrix and how is it yes yes so like you, you can play around with the data you can integrate diff- from data from different platforms you can structure them into different things so maybe uh, there, there is a row coming uh, from one data table and you want to con- convert it into a column you can do that you want to change the data types you want to convert the data you want to separate the same column into multiple columns or you want to combine the data sets from all the different tools so you can do all, like all the things you can play around with the data in any way you want so it's a, it's a fun like you have a lot of tools technologies with you and you are just touching the different buttons and getting the different outputs i think i, I have a similar question to me here which says what are the different different data connectors available and how are tools like uh, informatica or ssis from other vendors compared to altrex so if you can combine so, these two questions and uh, how you want to take it up but basically sure. they want to know like as you said like probably uh, data is coming in from multiple sources but what are the different kinds of sources we can plug it into altrex and how this data can be uh, and how this transformation methodology or the tool itself can be compared to tools like informatica and ssis so i would say starting from uh, your first question that how many connectors so i wouldn't say that uh, there are hundreds or thousands of connectors i would say there there the, all the relevant connectors are there so whatever the major databases we use in our daily corporate life or any in any of the organization we do have all this like csv sql server mysql uh, hana sap hana uh, and many more so you can connect to n number of applications web services or data sets uh, to altrix and yes there is a possibility that uh, there is a new database ca- came up or there is a database which is used by a very less number of applications or less number of organizations so uh, their connectors are not available but uh, you can always reach out to the altrix support that uh, i want to connect to the, this data source and in some time maybe they will come up with the connectors for that as well or uh, some turn around or uh, some alternative solution to connect to that data source so uh, in tech technology or are possible yes so, correct okay so in technology there is there are no limitations for the connection so you come you you have a problem you will find a solution so okay. it's like that now coming to the comparison so there is no hard feeling with other tools but yes uh, i would uh, rate altrix uh, one of the best tools because uh, the interface and the application uh, that altrix has within so uh, you can like come simply come you have a file you connect with the tool you see the output Uh, it's uh, similar like in other tools maybe you have to code sometimes or some more complications are there but in altrix it's like uh, free from it a person who doesn't uh, called as a it guy may come up uh, can connect to the tools see few videos and can start work on that so uh, maybe he will not be able to do the complex part but yes uh, basics can be done just by seeing a youtube videos but uh, for other tools i will say it's a kind of challenge are in all tricks yeah just come and play so you you are seeing let's say because we got that question now i think we had a similar question that if somebody needs to start learning all tricks right so what is the best place to start and how should they approach really to start learning all tricks and what are the basic skills they need to learn all tricks okay that's a good question so uh, when we talk about all tricks it has a huge community so any question you ask you will find its answer already on the community there are a lot of uh, videos also there on the community portal so if you go there like uh, on the certification part so with the certification columns for, i would also add here that uh, first two level of certification in altrix is a free of cost so anyone can go there and register and uh, at the same time on the certification portal you will see lot of videos are there they can go there and see those videos and start working on altrix so it's from the basics so it will be very helpful for the individuals who wanted to start learning this tool they can go there 
and uh, start learning things. If they find that they are not able to solve something, they just post on the community or they can already find that such questions are already raised on the community. So from there, they can uh, get the help and start learning. Plus, uh, there, there are uh, YouTube channels on courses. Or you can find a lot of courses on Udemy, Coursera. So, yep, there's a lot of content available. So, what are the skills you think, like uh, an, an Alteryx developer, if he needs to become somebody, somebody is... So, who is the right person to become an Alteryx developer? And what kind of skills he needs to start off with? So basically, he should understand what he want to generate out of a data. So he, he should have an understanding on the data sets he, he want to play around with. And secondly, a basic knowledge of SQL so that uh, he can, if there is a need of modification of queries, uh, like uh, manhandle queries. So in that cases, uh, it will be very helpful uh, to manipulate the data. So, uh, so to, to understand if a person who has data analysis capabilities, so who can understand data and relate data, and on top of it, if there is some SQL knowledge or a structured query programming language, which goes to any database. So uh, molding that person into an Alteryx developer becomes a little bit easier. Easier, right. Okay. All right. So I think that's a very good point. I mean, uh, I might go a step back probably, but in the series of questions, I missed out one question and probably that would be the last question of the uh, session also. Like how do we really test our uh, data in Alteryx? I mean, you, you have done all this magic between the uh, tools, like you brought in data, but and before we give it to our customers or whoever is trying to consume this data, how are we, going to test that what we did is good or not right there should be some software sdlc methodology like or how does testing really happen i mean because data is it good what i did is good i need to check my work right so right. how do we do that so as usual like uh, i would go with another uh, a different example so when we click a photograph so we see that uh, a photo has came, came up and we see it's looking good so in the same way, when we uh, insert some data and we were expecting some kind of output as per our expectation. So if we do not see it in that form, then we, we can find out that yes, there is a problem. So in order to uh, find out that where is the actual problem occurs, uh, we, we define certain use cases around our uh, expected output. So we create a, a multiple streams of different output sets where we think that this, if this problem occurs, this kind of uh, output will be expected. And if uh, this error doesn't come up, then this is what my expected output. So from these different streamlines, we able to find out that yes, uh, this particular data sets lacks this kind of quality and that's why we are not getting this output. Or in some situations, it happens that uh, maybe we applied some wrong logics. So we will be able to identify those records in different uh, streamlines of data or different nodes, I would say, uh, that yes, at this particular node, I'm not expecting, uh, I'm not getting this particular record because this particular error occurred. So this is how we able to uh, maintain or I would say manage the quality of the data. I think that's a good explanation. So probably you're saying we have some test cases, we execute those test cases in an orderly fashion and those test cases are executed and stored before we before we finally use them for data analysis or data transformation. Exactly. exactly. So what, I, what I understood from this um, is like, Alteryx is a data transformation tool and uh, or data cleansing tool because we start with, started speaking about cleaning right. the data. And we also said like a lot of logic is being applied. So a tool which cleanses the data, a tool which uh, performs data transformation and gives a desired output for people to visualize the data in the future, right? Yes. Now, what are all the different components in Alteryx? Uh, like, uh, because we, we spoke, I mean, I was researching before we joined the call. It, everything is called a workflow, right? Alteryx is a workflow or what, uh, yeah, if you want okay, to really sure. press up sure. on different sure. components, uh, mm -hmm. that will give a good introduction to our viewers. Sure. So basically, if you talk about Alteryx, there, there are two important components to it. One is Alteryx Designer and second is Alteryx Gallery. So 
uh, Alteryx Designer is an interface or an application, or I would say desktop application more specifically, where you design all your workflows, where you connect to different data sources, you design all the data manipulations via, via different tool sets we have. So in Alteryx, we have a definition for each tool sets, like um, whatever tools we use for input or output, they are come as in-out tools. Similarly, for like cleansing of data, for selecting certain sets of columns, we have a preparation, a data preparation tools. So we have multiple categories for different sets of tools in, inside the Alteryx Designer. So there we develop our entire workflow. So they may be in multiple workflows. So we call them like, as like macros. So okay. the person who will be working uh, on the Alteryx will e easily able to relate this term. Uh, the macros. So macros are nothing but you can say a small, small programs uh, uh, like uh, moduled just for single functionality, which are repetitive in nature. So we can utilize it again and again. And uh, uh, this is where we like uh, design all our code on the Alteryx designer. The okay. second uh, interface is Alteryx gallery, where we can upload our workflows and schedule them for uh, to on a defined time so that uh, we need not to go manually uh, on the Alteryx designer and uh, run them. So th if we should go and schedule them, they will be like running on that particular time. So maybe on daily basis or weekly basis as, as per our de definition of time. Oh, I think it's uh, wonderful. So you're basically, we have two different tool sets called designer and gallery where designer, you basically design how the workflow really looks or the macros, how they really look, how the data comes in and data goes out. That is the in out tool you said and calorie is where you want to schedule this probably daily run this at night, Correct. 9 p.m take this data right. from this position and and do all the logic behind it i think Correct. a very good introduction uh, and thanks for coming on to the uh, interview or discussion um, web up. i think if you are okay we'll put I think we spoke before, but uh, is there any email ID or a Google form or something we want to put down in the link where they can, if people have some, we, we generally put a Google form there. If people some have some specific queries, if you are okay, we can route it them to you after this discussion. Sure. Sure. Uh, like I, I will send my details. So if you uh, like encounter that any people reaching out to you, out to you for any kind of queries. So yep, you can come up with those and share with me. I will definitely uh, looking into answering them because uh, as a passionate uh, data engineer or I would say a data analytics expert, I would love to get into the insights of different data sets and different problems related to it and yeah, try to solve them. So definitely we'll do one more video about, as you said, uh, the different problems, what we are facing in the data analytics space. Sure. And I'm seeing the data science banner behind you. We, we could not get to speak about the data science. But let's do one more uh, discussion uh, sure. in the future where we want to do it. Thanks a lot again for joining. So viewers, I'm going to put a lot of discussion uh, uh, points right down and description below. I'm going to add a Google form. Uh, take sure. a look at the Google form. And if you have any questions to Viva or to me, about specifically all tricks or specifically about anything data analytics, or uh, let me know. We can discuss and put your comments down and we can get back in touch. Thanks a lot, Viva. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you for the good yeah. session. So I really like you as a host. So asking so many questions and I could re really relate to them. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Thank bye you. Bye. bye.